man. So this is gonna be one of them. There's one right here, there's another one down here. Right now I'm carrying about 150 gallons in this water tank. We're gonna do the touchless. Yeah. Drying it is gonna help the water kind of sheet Are up. You ready? Today we got something different. We're gonna be doing three big trucks and then one van. And it just so happened to be the Clydesdale big truck. So um, these are the big trucks from uh, Budweiser. So this is gonna be one of them. There's one right here. There's another one down here. And then there's a van. So what we're gonna do is knock out the van first. And then this is also my second time of hiring help as well. So I'm learning. I'm learning how to be a better leader, basically, you know? And so um, what we're probably gonna be using is wash him, which is gonna be the touchless wash. These trucks, honestly, these trucks are not even that bad. Uh, they're full of bugs, which is normal for a big truck. You know, they travel and stuff. On this one, we're gonna do the touchless. Yeah. And then see how it looks afterwards. If this, if it got some spots, then what I'm gonna do is um, we can foam it down and scrub it. Okay. And then go from there. That, that's the plan. Now, if the touchless doing most of the work, that's good, that's good. But if it needs to be touched up on here and there, then we'll just touch up on it. And that's the only thing I got for today. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. so we, I mean, it's really, there's a time limit on it, but no no time limit on it. We just need to knock this one out. That's that, this that's one right here. Biggest. Yeah, this one right here is the one that they used to travel. They ain't going nowhere in these. And then once we finish with this one, we're gonna go ahead and start doing the trucks. Now, this is gonna be a learning experience for me. And then, for you as well, because yeah, for me, I, I always work by myself. For what, three, four years now, I've always worked by myself. So it's always it's always like an adjustment for when I have somebody with me, which is not often at all. I could count on my fingers how many times. But I think it'll be it'll be pretty easy because I'm used to working with a partner. Yeah. And so far, like we did the little experience together where the, we did the ride along and we've already got a chance to work together. So I think it flowed pretty good that day and we already have the same idea on these. So I think yeah. it should go pretty easy. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start on the wheels first. We're going to use a uh, wash cam 50 so, and see how that do first. Obviously, if it if it do what I want it to do, then we may not even have to really scrub it as much. But obviously, if there's a, some parts that need to be scrubbed, we'll come back, foam it, and scrub it, rinse it off. And then all of them, we're going to get some formula for it. I know their front ones are bad just based off how these are going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get them the best that we can, you know? No, they clean it up good. But it seemed like most of it is, is coming off. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's coming off really good, but it's on there. And then like, like the inside, man, like when I'm doing like these washes, like obviously the inside of these ain't really never been done. Yeah. So you get them the best that we can and that's all it is. I figured that it would be like a good opportunity to do these because not too often have you seen, <laughs> have you seen anybody talk about the Budweiser. Yeah, well, I was also thinking just because like I've never, I mean, I've never done something this, like these big. Yeah. So like, it's a, I'm really excited just for the experience, honestly. Yeah. I've done a couple of big trucks. And like I said, it's not as bad as what you think it is. Like, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes like I, I take on jobs like not knowing what to expect. Like with this one, I really don't know what to expect. Yeah. You know, we may run into some, some things, but then that's, that's to me, I, honestly, I feel like that's how you learn. Yeah, of course. Because if you don't, if you don't, if those problems don't happen, then you'll never know what to do in the situation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're never gonna know how to face it. <laughs> You can just spray it down and I'm just rinse it off. All right. Don't be like me. Look at Logan. Logan got gloves on. <laughs> I know. Y'all don't be like me. Just because you see me doing something, don't mean you got to do it too. Be more like him because he's doing the proper thing. I try. I'm not. I try to. I really try to. It doesn't always happen though. These gloves get expensive. They oh, get those expensive. Those are the ones with the grip? Yes, That's but the they got one. grip and they're like seven mil stick. They're good. That's the best one. Spray some of that dark fury 
That Even though my fury. post prayer kind of it sucks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's Let me up? Get out the way. <laughs> oh, you getting hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I was getting you too. That's crazy. What I have is Washington 50 inside here. I, it's supposed to be eight ounces. I only did about six and then the rest I put water. Um, it's a touchless wash. I did a video on it before. It's actually well, a popular video that I have. But um, we're gonna spray it on, let it dwell, and then spray it off and see, see what it does. If we need to scrub, then we'll foam it on with some regular soap, pH neutral soap, and then scrub, and then rinse it off. And then we're gonna hit them all with uh, Formula 4. Um, this stuff is gonna foam on super thick, no matter what you use it. It's gonna be really thick. And you're gonna see like the, the grime and stuff kind of come come forward, I guess you could say. Yeah, do, do from the bottom to the top. Yeah. We'll just do one side at a time in the back. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we come back, we'll do the front and the other side. We already knocked out one truck, which is over there. All we have is this truck and this truck left. And so I didn't record the I didn't record the first truck because I wanted to kind of get the process down right. So the process we're gonna do on this one, I'm gonna show y'all we're gonna split it down the middle. I'm gonna do all we're gonna do the wheels on each side by ourselves. So we each gonna take a side of the of the truck. Once we do all the wheels, I'm gonna foam this side down with the washless. And in the back of the truck, I'm just gonna foam it down with soap. He's gonna go ahead and scrub the back. And then when he's scrubbing, I'm gonna be rinsing off this side. Once he's finished, he's gonna, he's gonna go ahead and foam the other side, the passenger side with the touchless wash. And then I'm gonna rinse my side, I'm gonna rinse the back. And by the time I rinse, I finish rinsing the back, this side should be good. And I'm gonna come and rinse this side. Y'all can't see, but it's 1148. Um, we started at nine o'clock. So we did one van, the truck and the trailer. It took us three hours, which to me, honestly, is not that bad. So now that we got a kind of like a process now, we should do this a lot faster. Get the bugs off of this big thing. Don't use Dr. Fury. Y'all already know that though. Uh -huh. Shout out to my dad for making me so tall. So I'm gonna do the same process as the van. We're using Wash Kim 50. Um, four ounces in this foam cannon right here. Four ounces and then 30 ounces of water. It calls for six ounces, but four ounces is good enough. And sometimes you could get away with just two ounces. So basically, very simple, foam it, let it sit for about two minutes and then start rinsing it off. And I'm only gonna do half of the truck. Right now, what he's doing is he is washing the back of it with just regular pH neutral soap, um, just because that's a lot of polished aluminum and we don't want it to stain the aluminum. So he's gonna rinse that off. We got about a minute left. Honestly, this is like the perfect day to do something like this because it's very cloudy, it's not hot, it's not cold. So I can give it enough time on something this big to work 
and do what it's supposed to do. And so I'm about to start rinsing this side off. He's going to go ahead and, well, he already started, not go ahead. But <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go ahead and fold this side down. I'm about to spray it down with is formula four so formula four is just a drying aid it's gonna help the water kind of sheet up beat off it's already kind of doing that but it's also like a spray wax as well so i'm just gonna hit his side and he's gonna start rinsing off his side and then when i get to my side rinse off my side obviously so So with Formula 4, I foam it on, as y'all saw on the van and on this one. You can also just spray it on while you rinse it off or use a pump sprayer or however you want to do it. I like to just foam it on with a foam cannon. It's a drying towel on a stick. We finished with the truck. We don't dry that mug off. And then we're going to do the trailer. So I'm going to do it, doing it in parts. So Logan's going on one side. I'm doing this side. Um, we're going to foam it on. Let it sit for two minutes. Oh, and then rinse it off and then move on to the next section. Kind of get some of those streaks. We finished the trucks, washing it. Right now what we're doing is just touch-ups. So I'm doing the windows. We're touching up on the chrome, just wiping little water spots off and stuff like that. Sometimes you just gotta climb the tire. Oh, don't do this at home. We finished with the job. I'm about to give y'all a couple of videos of, you know, the trucks and all that good stuff. I just want you to kind of tell them what you think about the job and stuff like that, the things that you may have learned and all that good stuff? Um, as far as the job goes, it was definitely the first time doing something this big. Uh, I was, it was very nerve wracking for me, to be honest with you. I thought, I thought we were about to like, you know, go crazy scrubbing all this, yeah. you know, doing details. And it, it was, uh, it, it was, it was really easy the way, the way you kind of had it set up. Um, we did like a, a what was a touchless washes is yeah, what they wash call it. Gym. So we use wash gum to just yeah. kind of foam it on and then let it sit for two minutes and then rinse it off. And I, I mean, to me, it did a great job. Yeah, it did an absolutely um, great job on these And trucks. then we came back and just touched up on everything, shine, trying to sh make it shine a little bit. No tire shine, they, they, they opt out of my tire yeah, shine Yeah, they program. didn't want no tire shine. I mean, it went really so, smooth. It was a little scary at first, but yeah. doing doing the, the wash chem process and being able to just let it, you know, spray it on there, let it, let it sit for two minutes. 
being able to rinse it off was a was a big ease in doing something this big. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you for, for tuning in and I'll see y'all in the next one.